All right, so today I'm going to show you how to do a game pass. We're going to start this flat terrain here. So the first thing you need to do is you need to publish your game to Roblox. You're going to need to make a game pass, and then we're going to make a tiny little store. So let's go to publish to Roblox, and I'm going to call this uh, game pass four because this is my fourth attempt. So if you mess up or you have some problems with this, don't feel bad. I had to do this four times before I could get this all straightened out. So that should give you some idea of the degree of difficulty. Let's go to starter GUI and screen GUI and frame. I'm just going to call this GP frame for game pass frame, right? GP frame. And I'm not going to spend too much time on my frame. But I am going to add this little button here. Uh, I need an image button. Don't add an image label, image button. And now what I'm going to do, I'm on my frame. I'm going to add an image label underneath here. You know, a text label. I'm sorry, not an image label, a text label. And let me just go ahead and make this smaller. And make this bigger down here. Go like that. Here we go. This is the tiniest little store in the world. Oh my gosh. Here we go. That's good. That should work. All right. I'll call this image image label. This is going to be my laser button. I want to sell hyper laser. There we go. And I need an icon. All right. So go to your you click on that you might be able to see it oh now you gotta go scroll for it here it is under image go ahead and get an icon on your computer so this will probably be the most time-consuming thing you gotta get an icon that you like I downloaded it saved it as a ping and I'll just go ahead and add that this is where I got a crash oh here we go all right and my image label I'm just going to describe it as hyper laser I like the hyper laser I'm gonna say two robux you might want you might want to charge more that's up to you let me see for text I'm gonna make text scaled make it a little bigger there we go so I also want to have an open close button and yeah, let's call this I'll call it open button the close will be assumed so you're gonna to toggle this I'll put it about the middle of the frame obviously put more time into your UIs uh, let's see, we'll make that button name's good. We need text, change our text, just so they know what, we know what it is. Open shop. And I'll scale it there. All righty. And let's add a script, a local script. I'm going to call this GP script. All right, and this is where we're going to put our laser ID. Oh, look how tiny that is. You'll never be able to see that. There we go. So local laser ID. And that's what we're going to get. That's going to be our Game Pass ID. Let's go ahead and make that now. So we're going to go to our, our web browser under your Roblox account, create. And there's my Game Pass 4. All right, I'm going to go here create a game pass I'm going to choose that same file that same ping that I had there we go it might not show up in time just call this like hyper laser there we go hyper laser it's there because I did this four times uh, one shot kills there we go preview it now you might not see this right away. Don't panic, it'll show up. It might take a little bit of time. Since I did this four times, I think that the icon, or what is it, the ping is already probably approved. Because the first time I did it, I didn't see it. So we have our hyper laser here. When I hit my verify, hit your little wheel, and go to configure, sales, turn that on, and I'm gonna make it two Robux. There we go, so every one I sell, I get a whopping one Robux save that alrighty and they're not very good about giving you your ID 
but you can just get it right here. There we go. Control C, I copied that. I'm gonna shrink this down and I'm gonna put that, boom, right there. Alrighty, so let's get programming. Let's get our marketplace service, game get service, marketplace service. And I'm gonna get a laser button. Let me get my GP frame first. GP frame, because I wanna make it visible and invisible based on whether we open it or close it uh, with that open and close button. GP frame, that's just the parent, right? Yep, GP script, GP frame, all right. Now I need my laser button, laser button, and that's on my GP frame, right? GP frame, I should have a laser button. There it is. And I need my open close button. Open, let's just call it open button. And that's, we gotta go up a little further, right? Because we have that right on the screen, GUI. So we gotta go parent, parent, open button. There we go. Oh, wait, let's get a player too. Player, game, get service, players, local player. Alrighty, now let's make a function to get laser pass. Alright, so I need a Boolean value. And I'm gonna say has pass, which is typical. A lot of people call that. All right, now I need to wrap this into P call. So I need to send something asynchronously to Roblox. And before I do that, I am going to go to my game settings. I'm going to go to security. I'm going to allow HTTP requests and third party sales. All righty. I don't think I need the studio access. I'm going to turn it on anyway, though, because chances are you are going to add a data store at some point. All righty. And now I can go ahead and do my P call, my protected call. It's going to be an HTTP call to Roblox. And you'll get a success back and a message if there's a failure. So P call, this is an anonymous function. And I'll say has pass equals marketplace service. And this one, user owns game pass async. Pass in the player's user ID user ID and the laser ID. Alrighty. Let me see if I can move this over a little bit. There we go. And we don't need anything else in here, but we do need to check to see if the HTTP call was successful. So I'll say if not success, then we'll print uh, error and let's print out the message. So comma MSG. You probably should do more with that if this is a regular game. So that'll give you get get you started, All right? And then if has pass, let's just say player has the game pass. Else, let's see if I can get up ahead a little bit. Uh, marketplace service prompt game pass purchase pass in the player and the laser id all right so now that we got that let's go ahead and oh let's go ahead and make sure our our uh, button on our laser button calls so we're going to do laser button did i spell that right laser button activated so we want to call the game uh, the get laser pass from this event when we click on the laser button. So just get rid of those two extra parentheses. Also, I want to make sure that my um, my open close button works so that my frame will be open or closed depending on whether I want to buy something or not. So we're just going to do an anonymous function here because it's only going to be one line of code. Let me see if I can go up a little bit. I'll say GP frame dot visible will equal not gp frame dot visible so it's going to toggle back and forth all right nice so if i forgot anything hopefully i don't get an error all right let's go to our server side i want to keep this video under 15 minutes if i can and this is going to be uh gp laser 
script. So this is my server side. All right, now I'm going to get some of the code from that GP script on the client side. I'm gonna get the laser ID, I'm gonna get the marketplace service. So I'll get these two, I'm gonna paste that here. And I'm also going to paste this whole function. I'm just gonna modify it a little bit. Copy that, go to GP laser script, paste it. And all of this is good, except for when we get the game pass. So when we get to the game pass on the server side, what we want to do is, uh, let's see, I'm just checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. If they have the pass, then we got to give them the laser. So to give laser, a pass and a player. And else, don't do anything. That's our modification. Now we're going to have to have a player. See, the player is blue because we had the local player on the client side. That is okay because what we're going to do is when the player enters the game, we're going to call that get laser pass. We want to check. We want to check to see if he can get it right when he gets in. So I'll have player added, connect, get laser pass, and the player will be passed in. Now we're still getting blue here, so let's go ahead and give the laser. Say local function give laser player will be passed in and let's get a copy of our laser and we don't have one yet so let's get one out of the toolbox let's go here and we'll say gun all righty let me go here real quick oops i don't want to buy that i want to drag it over here and then once in the workspace I'm going to put it in replicated storage all right let's get rid of that let's go back to our GP laser script and now I'm going to get my laser it's in replicated storage I just dragged it there so oof let's go ahead and get a variable for replicated storage game get service replicated storage now we have our RS Let's wait for child and hyperlaser. I'll never spell that right, so I'm just gonna go down to the name and copy it. Control C, paste it. There we go. And I am going to clone it twice. So I'm gonna clone it, say laser, clone, and then I am going to make the parent my player's starter gear. Oh man, there we go. Starter, and it's a capital G, gear. Did I spell that right? Starter gear. Okay, I'm gonna copy this again, and I'll put it in the backpack too. Because it's kind of clunky when you're going into the world, so there's a good chance that one may fail. Let's put it in the starter gear and the backpack. That way when they respawn and they die, they have it. I'll we'll say backpack. There we go. I think I got everything. That looks good. Okay, so now there's one more event that we gotta worry about, and that's if they're just buying the, buying the laser for the first time, right? So marketplace service, and I wanna prompt game pass purchase finished. So this is going to be called when somebody, ga <clears throat> when somebody buys the laser. We're gonna, oh, let's do connect, and I'm gonna call this on GP finished oh my gosh there we go finished let's make that function we don't have that yet oh man I'm almost at 15 minutes local function on GP finished and what am I gonna get I'm gonna get the player I'm gonna get the pass ID and I'm gonna get a success or failure And then I'm gonna say if success and pass ID, then give laser. Look at that, we're just passing the player. Alrighty, let's try it out. Let's see if we got any errors. That'll be amazing if I, have, I don't have any errors. We should view.
hit view and hit output. Uh, looking good. So we should turn this off when we start because we don't want to just spam them. But this works. Yeah. I have my laser. It's my game pass, so I got it by default. Let's try it with our test server. Boom. Let's go here. Stop. Go to test. And I just have local server and then player one. Let's go ahead and start. Let's see if we have any any issues. I don't think I published it after I did my um, my security settings, but I think that should be okay for my test server. Alrighty. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right, here's my test server coming up. Move this up a little bit. All right, you didn't have it. That's good. Let's buy it. Ooh, want to buy a product. Hyper laser for two Robux. But this is a test purchase, so you won't be charged. There we go. Okay. There's my hyper laser. Sweet. Okay, now you guys can go get rich. Do game passes. I love them. And I will see you in the next video.